Hello everyone, in this video uh, we will start the introduction part for polynomials. So this is according to the state syllabus of Karnataka for 10th standard. So let me start with the topic, so it is polynomial. So polynomials, any polynomial can be represented by P of X. What is the meaning of P of X? So we say it is a representation for polynomial with the variable X. So if I write X square plus 2X plus 3, this is a polynomial. So polynomial in which variable? In variable X because we have used a variable which is nothing but X. So I can write P of X is equal to this. Similarly, I can represent P of u for polynomial with the variable u. The same thing I can represent it as u square plus 2u plus 3. Now, in general, a polynomial can be represented as x to the power n, a x to the power n, b x to the power n minus 1 plus c x to the power n minus 2 and so on plus some constant term at the end okay constant term at the end okay yeah fine so this is the general representation for polynomial so all these are the coefficients of the variable powers okay so a is a coefficient which is a number b is a coefficient c is a coefficient all these are coefficients now the polynomial whose highest power okay so here highest power is n so if i take this example so where the variable is taken as u and the polynomial is represented by u square 2 plus 2 u plus 3 now what is the highest power of a variable which is nothing but u here it is 2 so this is known as degree of polynomial degree of polynomial so what is the degree of polynomial so degree of polynomial is the highest power of the variable in the polynomial if suppose I take one more example where I am taking variable as x and if I write x to the power 4 plus 2x square plus 3. So this is a polynomial where variable is x and which is represented by p of x is equal to x to the power 4 plus 2x square plus 3. Now, what is the degree of this polynomial? So, here degree of this polynomial is the highest power, highest power of variable. So, which is nothing but 4 here, 4. So, the degree is 4. Similarly, we can write degree of any polynomial. Now, if suppose, if degree of the polynomial degree of polynomial is 1 is 1 that is nothing but the highest power of the variable in the polynomial is 1 then such equations are such polynomial not equation such polynomials are called linear polynomials okay so linear polynomials are nothing but linear polynomials polynomials are nothing but polynomials with degree 1 degree 1 so a few examples let me write examples so you can write 2x plus 4 p of x is equal to 2x plus 4 now the variable is x here and the power of x is the maximum power of x is 1 so the degree is 1 
degree is 1. So, this is linear polynomial. So, it is 1 degree is 1. So, linear polynomial. So, similarly one more example p of x is equal to um, minus root 2 x. So, this is also a polynomial with uh, degree 1 that is a linear polynomial. So, similarly we can say quadratic polynomial. So, what is quadratic polynomial? If the highest degree of or the highest power, highest power of the variable in the polynomial is 2, then we say it as quadratic polynomial. So, quadratic polynomial example I can take x square minus 3x plus 8. So, this is a polynomial with maximum power or the highest power as 2 on the variable. So, this is a quadratic polynomial. Quadratic polynomial. So, this is quadratic polynomial. So, similarly p of x is equal to if suppose I take x cube plus 15 x let me take 3 x cube plus 15 x square plus uh, 5 x plus 1. So, this is a polynomial with the highest power as 3. So, this is cubic polynomial. So, cubic polynomial. Okay. So, we have seen linear polynomial, quadratic polynomial and also cubic polynomial. Okay. So, now let us write the general form of general form of these polynomials, these polynomials. So, for linear polynomials, the general form is a x plus b. So, this is the general form for linear polynomial where you can see the maximum power of the variable. Here I have taken x as the variable and the maximum power is 1. Similarly, the quadratic polynomial general form general form is px is equal to ax square plus bx plus c is equal uh, a x square plus b x plus c. So, you can see here the maximum power of variable is 2. So, this is quadratic polynomial where a, b, c are coefficients of the polynomial. Similarly, here a and b are coefficients of polynomial and here a cannot be equal to 0. If a is equal to 0, what happens? If a is equal to 0, this term becomes 0. So, then it becomes a linear polynomial. It is not a quadratic polynomial. Similarly, here a cannot be equal to 0. Okay. So, if we put write a is equal to 0, so this becomes 0, this term becomes 0, then we have only constant term. So, then we do not call it as linear polynomial. Okay. Similarly, cubic polynomial, so general form of cubic polynomial, so p of x is equal to a x cube plus b x square plus c x plus d. So, this is cubic polynomial where a is not equal to 0, but b c d can be equal to 0. Similarly, here b and c can be equal to 0 and b can be equal to 0 here in this expression, but a cannot be equal to 0 and a, b, c, d all these are coefficients of this polynomial. So, these are the general forms of the different polynomials. So, we can uh, write polynomial with any degree that is the maximum power. So, these are the basic ones. Okay. So, let me write now the value for the polynomial. So, let us calculate value of polynomial. So, p of x is equal to let me write a quadratic polynomial 
I have taken an example of quadratic polynomial where the p of x is equal to 2x square plus 3x plus 2. Okay. Now, if suppose I take x is equal to 3, then what happens? Show it as p of 3. The x value is now 3. So, it is p of 3. So, wherever x is there, you just substitute value as 3. So, it is 3 square plus 3 into 3 plus 2. So, what you will be getting? So, it is 2 into 9 plus 3 into 3 is 9 plus 2. So, this is nothing but 18 plus 9 plus 2. So, this is nothing but 27 plus 2, 29. 29. So, here the 29 is the value of the polynomial given here at p is equal to 3 or the same thing I can write p of x at x is equal to 3 is equal to 29. So, this is the value of the polynomial. So, if suppose we take any particular value of the variable and substitute that value for the variable in the polynomial. So, that gives you the value of the polynomial at that particular value of variable. So, we can use any variable in the polynomial. So, similarly, we can write p of u is equal to let me write 5x plus 4. So, what is this? This is a linear polynomial. Why it is linear polynomial? Because the it is linear polynomial because the maximum power of variable is uh, 1 here. So, it is a linear polynomial. Now, sorry, it is not x, u because here I have taken u. Okay. So, you can use any variable as a uh, any variable in the polynomial okay fine so this is a polynomial now if suppose i want p of u at u is equal to minus 2 what is the meaning of this the value of polynomial at u is equal to minus 2 has to be calculated so let us calculate so in place of u let me write minus 2 so in the polynomial also let me write it as minus 2 plus 4 so, you calculate the value. Now, how much it is? It is minus 10 plus 4 which is equal to minus 6. So, minus 6 is the value for the polynomial at u is equal to minus 2. So, this is how we calculate the value of different polynomials. So, in this video, I have just briefed about what is polynomial, what are the different types of polynomials, how to identify the degree of polynomial how to name a polynomial based on the degree and we have seen how to calculate the value of the polynomial. So, uh, the remaining topics let me give in the next video. So, that is it for today. Thank you.